Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I'm going to show you this gold stylized Mark Reed style tiger look. This is in honor of Go Gold for September month in honor of Childhood Cancer Awareness. And I'll add a link below this in the comment section so you can go visit the St. Jude website and donate to support this awesome cause. So if you'd like to see how I did this, keep watching. So to start, we're going to use the Kribbelin Creamy Pearly Yellow on the top lip, on the nose, and above one eyebrow. And next, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Superstar Yellow, number 44, for some brightness. So we're just going to continue to fill in the other eye. This is Tag Pearl White mixed with Superstar Yellow, number 44, in the inner corner of the eye and just below the eye. Now I'm switching to Superstar Glitter Gold number 066. This one has glitter actually in the paint and it's really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna blend all of the colors together and I'm gonna keep doing that on each side. So now for some shading, I'm gonna use the Superstar Metallic Copper. I'm actually gonna use a one stroke in just a minute with some of the Superstar Metallic Copper in it, but if I didn't have the one stroke, this is the way I would do it. So now I've loaded up some of the Superstar Glitter Gold and I'm just going to come under the eye and down to a point at the inner corner of the eye on each side. And then I'm going to use some Cosmetic Gold Glitter while the paint is still damp. I'm just going to dip my brush in the Cosmetic Glitter and dab it right under my eye. Next for the outline, I'm using a homemade one stroke. It's got Global Rose Brown, Krillin Orange, Superstar Metallic Copper, and Tag Metallic Gold. I'm just going to load that on a half inch protege angled brush, just getting a tiny little bit of the brown on the edge. I'm going to swoop up and all the way across the top of my forehead at an angle. This is going to give you that really pretty shaded effect. And you can come back in with your sponge once you're done with this part of the outline and just really dab it and blend everything together really nicely. So now on this eye, I'm going to start at the inner corner and I'm going to swoop down three sharp angled shapes. One, two, and three, and then back up. And then I'm just going to come in from the top and come around and connect the two together and come back in and blend with a little bit of the gold. And I didn't like the angle I had, but it's no big deal. You can just come right back over the top of what you did before and make the angle exactly how you want it and blend it in. Now I'm using DFX Brown on a number three brush to make the tiger's nose. And then with very light pressure, just on the tip of your brush, you're going to come down and split the lip in half and make a little triangle shape and then fill in on each side of the top lip. And now for the bottom lip, I'm going to fill it in using DFX Golden Yellow and I'm going to come back in with that same cosmetic gold glitter and just dab it all along my bottom lip while the paint is still wet. And then I'm going to use BAM Stencil 3011 to give it a whimsical fantasy feel. And this is just the DFX Golden Yellow again on my Fantasy Worldwide sponge. I'm just dabbing it all along the stencil and lightening the pressure on the edges to give it a fantasy look. And now I'm going to do the muzzle area with some DFX Brown. I'm just kind of making comma shapes starting at the bottom and pulling a thin line in. You just want to have really light pressure 
on your brush as you pull in to make those super thin lines that are pointing inward. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and swoop up and outline the entire side of that design with the DFX Brown. And then starting at the top of the inner corner of the eye, I'm just gonna outline that gold area where the glitter is with my DFX Brown again on a really tiny brush. I think it's a maybe a number one brush. Now I'm just gonna outline that side as well. And I'm just gonna keep outlining with the DFX Brown everywhere there's an edge. So now on the other side, I'm going to come make a series of three like backwards U shapes with points on the edges and then come down to the bottom of the side of the cheek. Just fill those in just a little bit with your smaller brush and then I'm going to load up a larger filbert brush to come in and fill in the rest just for speed. So I'm going to show you two ways to make the tiger stripes. This is just with a regular brush. You're going to start really lightly, push down and pull up. This is just with a regular brush and you can also do it with a 3 8 inch angled shader brush. You just start on the edge of the brush, then lay it down harder and pull back up to the tip. With the stripes on this design, just try to keep them all pointing toward the inner corner of the eye to get that nice flow. And now I'm just going to come in with more of the DFX Brown and I'm going to outline the eyes. Just give it some eyeliner to give it that cat eye shape. And now with a really well loaded brush, I'm using some global yellow and I'm varying my brush pressure just to make a series of dots going from larger to smaller. And now for the finishing touch, I'm just going to come and fill in with some black eyeshadow to give this a real beauty makeup look and it just really finishes it off really well. And for the last little thing, we're just going to finish off with a thick coat of mascara. And that's the finished look. If you guys try this out, be sure to tag the Face Paint Forum shop in your photos on social media. We love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.